Hey guys, welcome to the video. So in this video, I'm just going to show off my new American Civil War project. Okay, so this is the miniatures I've got built up so far. Um, I've got some more to add to this. It's just that I'm still waiting on some to come in the post as well as waiting um, to build up some more miniatures. But I'll explain why I haven't built them up yet. So this is kind of what I've got built first. Um, this is going to be the start of my Union Army as well as topping up my Confederate force I've got. Um, so I'll just run through what I've got here um, and then explain kind of what I'm going to be doing with my other stuff. So to start with I've got this big blob here that's going to be three 24-man units of Union. Um, I'm waiting for a command sprue for this back chaps which I've ordered from um, Perry. Um, so yeah this is going to mean there's going to be t three 24-man units and each 24-man unit I'm going to use to represent a regiment. Um, so I'm going to get the proper flags which I've ordered and waiting on them unfortunately still uh, to turn up but yeah so I've got three regiments here plus some skirmishes as well so with my Union forces um, I'm looking at building up the um, certain regiments that kind of tickle my fancy as it were so I've all going to build up the 20th Maine the 69th um, New York which is an Irish regiment and then the 89th New York, I believe, which will um, part of the 20th Maine's brigade. Um, so these re these regiments for the Union aren't all in the same brigade. I've just kind of picked and choose which ones I kind of found interesting. Um, personally, I really like the look of the green flag for the Irish regiments. So that's why I've chosen an Irish regiment. What I might in the future, if I look at expanding this force, I might <clears throat> pick a few more Irish regiments, maybe try to create the uh, Irish brigade. I don't know yet. That's a... Uh, that's some way in the future. Um, so yeah, that's what these three units are going to be. Um, like I said, I've just picked some skirmishes as well down here. Um, and then to accompany this, I've actually got another 24-man unit, which I haven't built up yet. Um, but they're going to be the 54, 54th Massachusetts. Um, so I'm going to be using the Union infantry box set. Um, but I'm actually going to be using the coloured troops heads from Perry's. Um, which I've ordered, I'm just waiting for them in the post. So that's why I haven't built up the 54th yet. Um, so it'd be quite interesting to see what that's like using different heads. So it's going to be probably cutting the heads off these miniatures and gluing on the new ones. Might be a bit fiddly, but I don't know. But I'll let you know when I uh, how I get on with that. Um, and then over here, I've got expansion for my Confederates. So this is going to be two 24-man regiments, as well as some skirmishes. And I've got some spare just lying as well. And then a commander. So, um, with my Confederates, I've already got three 24 man units built up. So, I thought it'd be a fun idea to recreate the Stonewall Brigade, um, which is five regiments of Virginian infantry. So, with these two plus the three I've already got and the new flags that are coming, um, I'm going to rebrand them basically to the Stonewall Brigade. Um, so, again, I've got for this back regiment here. It's got a gap in the middle. That's because I'm waiting on the command sprues from Perry's just to top that up and to give them the command. And also I'm waiting on some more Confederates from Perry's, some metal sculpts, um, which is going to make another 24-man unit. So I do have a spare 24-man Confederate unit, which I'll probably chuck in and use for a different regiment at some point if I figure out which one I want to do. Um, as well, I'm going to get for my Confederates, I'm going to get a Zouave command for my... Louisiana Tigers as well, so give them a proper, proper command. Um, so, yeah, uh, with the commander here. So I mentioned about doing the Stonewall Brigade. So what I've gone and done is bought Stonewall Jackson. This is a sculpt from First Corps. So I've actually got Stonewall Jackson. Um, and also for my Union, um, for the twentieth Main, I've went and brought First Corps um, Joshua uh, Lawrence Joshua Chamberlain. So Chamberlain, so that's what I've got here, which I started up painting. He's a bit shiny because I've just uh, varnished him. But yeah, he's going to be kind of leading the 20, 20th main. So an idea with my 20th main, which I've done, I've used the skirmishing sprues from the Union box set to build this regiment. And it's kind of like a firing line to kind of represent their fight on Little Round Top in, during Gettysburg. So I thought just a nice way rather than having them all sort of similar where they're all marching or charging I decided using a firing gun line which I think uh, will look, look quite nice so 
yeah, this is what I've got here. I'm gonna get on and paint these. I'll probably break these down into videos where I just show off one regiment once I've done it. Um, and then I will be doing another video once the other stuff turns up in the post, um, which hopefully shouldn't be too long. I was expecting it today, but it doesn't look like it'll be today, so, which is a shame, but yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, this is just my little update video. Um, this is gonna kind of take the main stage for my projects. I know I've just bought some EC, uh, English Civil War stuff, but that's gonna wait for a bit. So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, keep an eye out for any videos I do in the future. Cheers, guys.